We begin today by visiting with some students at the Southwest College of Naturopathic Medicine in Tempe, Arizona to see what life is like in a naturopathic medical college. We began by asking Dr. Christine Girard, Executive Vice President of Academic and Clinical Affairs, about the curriculum. Naturopathic medical education begins with a four-year program that includes training in the biomedical sciences, such as anatomy, physiology, biochemistry, and that type of thing, and transitions into the, uh, the clinical sciences, things that we call the ologies, such as gynecology, gastroenterology, and that type of thing, and continues on within that context related to the diagnostic sciences, including lab diagnosis and diagnostic imaging, and then begins to get into the level of therapeutics therapeutics including pharmacotherapy or the use of drugs along with many treatments that we might consider to be alternative such as the use of botanical medicine, homeopathy, physical medicine, clinical nutrition, etc. The entire education culminates in the clinical training which happens both at the, the college's medical center um, where students are, are exposed to diverse patient populations, but it also extends into multiple community clinics. Usually I will get up at about 6.30 in the morning and get ready and I'll be at the clinic by 8. And my first patient usually will come in between 8 and 10. But before the patient comes in, you have to read the chart, you have to get prepared. You read the other patient's charts that are coming in, you discuss them so that you're prepared um, to deal with all the patients that come in on the shift. And then the patient comes in, you see your patient, you do your paperwork, you do your write-up, go to lunch around noon, come back for shifts that last between 1 o'clock and 9 o'clock at night. So usually I don't get out of the clinic until about 9.30, 9.45 at night. So there, there's some pretty long days. It's harder than working full-time and being a mom because school is never just done. <laughs> it's kind of always processing what you're learning, um, but I've never felt in a better place to care for my family and care for their health. So it's hard, but I work at that balance and it's definitely one of the most challenging places I've been in my life, but the most rewarding, I would say, at the same time. Second year is more of a focus on the abnormal pathologies of the body. So first year we get, we're getting, we're still in the, all the didactics. So the first year you get your basic sciences, the physiology of the body's supposed to work right now. We're getting like our CACR classes, our pathology, laboratory diagnosis, physical diagnosis. So we're learning how the body works abnormally and what to look for, and then also how to um, just examine somebody with either ourselves with stethoscopes, we're doing blood draws, so we're, they're prepping us to get into the clinic and also finishing like all the didactic studies of abnormalities in the body. On top of that right now I'm also a teaching assistant for the anatomy lab. I just became um, student ambassador which I help out with the admissions team so we're helping the incoming students if they have any questions, pre-interview dinners, and then also on top of that I just joined SGA um, as part of the new cabinet which they're trying to change up in the school to get it uh, more involved so I'm involved with that too. So. Life, life's pretty busy and I try to find some time on my own to either go work out or go hiking or just get away and forget about school. The experience here is, is just awesome. It is challenging, it is medical school, but I tell you I'm learning so much. Um, I'm really tying um, uh, the medicine to uh, patient care and it's just, it's an awesome experience. It's very challenging, but it's very rewarding as well. It's important to note that there are a total of seven naturopathic medical colleges within North America, five in the United States and two in Canada. And those are the naturopathic medical schools that are accredited by their regional accrediting agency, but most importantly the Council on Naturopathic Medical Education. And all of those accrediting agencies are overseen by the United States Department of Education, at least those in the United States. That's important to note because there are many other programs available to people um, that are what we might call online courses or that type of thing that don't necessarily culminate into the medical degree that is accredited where the graduates and students are then eligible to take their board exams. And once they complete those boards successfully, they're able to then um, become licensed to practice medicine in the state that they choose to live in. Thank <laughs> you.